Hi everybody, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Uh, so I'm very happy to, to start this five um, sessions of uh, meditation and uh, teachings on five wisdom. So, uh, so today we will have two parts. Uh, first, like a half an hour to 35 minutes, we will be uh, doing uh, healing pain through meditation. And then the second part will be the teaching uh, and practices, uh, practice on the, the five wisdom. So we will be doing these two, two things. Uh, the reason why we're trying to do these two things is just because, you know, like it's hard to have two different time to do the teaching. So with, I thought it would be easier just to divide it a session into two parts in, in one time. So first of all, um, you know, many of you already know, uh, a few years ago, we did a, a research on uh, uh, pain, uh, physical and emotional pain uh, and applying uh, meditation practice. And uh, so we have done some research and some put it some uh, collected some data. So uh, it really, really shows uh, very clearly that meditation has a great impact on the healing, the pain and like something like about 33, 34 percent reduction of pain, physical pain. And basically uh, um, the whole the findings were like a no drain, no pain, basically. Uh, one of the reasons why we get sick and why we get have pain is our life is constantly draining so much. Our not able to be open, accommodate and process the, the challenges does drain us a lot. And as a result of that, it does produce a lot of pain and uh, problems for us. So, so very much, um, has drain and pain are very connected. And so that is what we're trying to do. And according to the teaching also, that, um, um, you know, according to Tibetan teaching and Tibetan medicine, that every sickness and every pain, it caused by ignorance, uh, fundamental root of the, all the pain and sickness is from ignorance and then through ignorance and the five negative emotions and and through that then all the uh, bad health and all the pain arises so because uh, pain is like uh, the pain and our mind is very much related together so reason why meditation helps to reduce pain is meditation is balancing the mind and uh, pain is imbalance uh, outcome of the mind. So there, there is a directly uh, related uh, link to to each other. So, so in a way that what I would like to do is maybe just first, I want everybody just sit comfortably and uh, look at your life, your situation, and um, particularly the physical pain uh, that you have. Uh, I have a little physical pain in my shoulder here, so I have something to work on. And I'm sure many of you also have something that you, you can work on. And then somebody who really feels like you don't have any physical problems, then you can also, of course, work on, on emotional, the wounds and pain also. But I would first uh, f focus on physical part so that we, we all will focus the next five weeks so that, and then also I want everybody, so really like we are all remembering that we all the Cyber Sangha is practicing together, every day to practice together, every day we are doing at least like a five uh, informal practices related to our pain, particularly whenever the pain is arising, whenever you notice the pain, whenever pain is kind of really interfering your natural flow of your day, then obviously, in a way, you have no option. You know, you really have to, you know, it's kind of inviting you to meditate and practice. So you really have to 
kind of uh, trying to bring your practice into it. So first, I want all everybody to look at a little bit that how is your pain, physical pain, is related to some kind of uh, grasping mind, some kind of um, perception of self, some kind of mental effort, um, or basically um, ego or, or, or self-grasping mind, what we call dangzi, uh, perception of self-identity, whatever you wanted to call it. I want you to reflect a little bit that see how your pain is connected to that place, okay? So that's a very, very important one part I wanted to everybody to look. And then the second part is that how we ignore our physical pain or emotional pain, how we suppress it, how we avoid it, uh, how we turn away from it rather than getting closer and accommodating and being conscious and being aware of it. So just it's, it's a, just a question of recognizing our behavior, our attitude toward our pain. I think that recognition will clearly help to go closer and uh, trying to bring more conscious and more connect with the pain rather than going away from it. Then the, then the next part is um, of course, that, that's what I call it, bringing into awareness or, or bringing, in, bringing a light into that pain. So bringing your pain into your awareness or your, bringing your awareness into that pain or bringing the light into that pain, which means the same thing. And so that is what we, as a part of the practice, what we're going to do. I will guide the practice so it's not, not uh, you, don't worry about it. And, uh, and the actual really part of the practice will be three qualities. So usually what we say space, awareness, and warmth. Um, being very open to it. That means when you're being very open to it, it clears the pain. It, re it allows the pain to breathe. Uh, it creates a space to move and flow and and, um, how you say, bring new uh, energy there, that, that awareness of the space creates those quality there. So that's the number one. The second, the second is the, the awareness of awareness. So basically being aware of that pain, connecting with that pain uh, without any elaboration or judgment, like a very, like a mother's, pure presence of mother's love toward the child, crying child, child who is in pain. So same way, that connection, that, that connection of that awareness to your pain is actually what is doing, it's restoring it. In some sense, it's, it's like a healing it, a clearing it. So that connection of awareness, is that is what it's doing. And the last part is, uh, bringing a certain kind of warmth to it, like a, like a love or like a, some sense of more pure energy to it, we call dynamic energy or tsal, uh, pure energy from that awareness toward that pain. So that pain, not only you have cleared that pain, not only that pain have kind of uh, recovering itself, but it's also giving more strength and energy, the last part, the third part, giving more strength and energy uh, by bringing that warmth toward it. So that's what we're going to do. So, uh, so, so I sit comfortably, everybody. So breathe at least five times a very deep conscious breathing and those you know how to do the nine breathing or purification you're welcome to do that and those you don't know nine breathing or purification uh, we, will, we will we will post the explanation of nine breathing or purification later 
and uh, then you can watch that later but for now you can just take five deep breathing and each exhalation release any tensions that you are feeling in this moment in your body and particularly the area of the body that you are feeling pain During this meditation, any time you are aware of any effort in your body, in your breath, in your mind, be aware of that and breathe it out through deep breathing. Remember this any time you feel the need. Do that. For now, Allow yourself to fully rest. Allow your body to fully rest in the stillness. Feel the deep stillness in your body and rest. And feel the support of all the Cyber Sangha that we are practicing together this moment life. They are all supporting each other, all around the world. Feel that support and give your support to everybody. Be aware of any holdings, tensions in your breath. Be it, breathe it out deep and in the end of the exhalation, rest deep in that silence of your speech. Feel and be aware of the silence, deep silence.
Now be aware of any effort in your mind, tensions in your mind. Breathe out deep and release those tension in your mind. Allow the mind rest fully in that spaciousness, in that inner sacred space inner boundless space. Let it fully rest. Just for a moment, be aware that your body is fully resting in that inner stillness. Your speech is fully resting in that inner silence. Your mind is fully resting in inner sacred space. We are all supporting each other this moment. Feel the support and blessings of each other. Now gradually you, you bring your full attention, awareness toward a particular area of your body where you, feel you are sick or you are feeling pain. And you also feel and trust that this collective practice or the power of this collective practice. Like I can feel and allow that all of your awareness, power of your awareness, power of connection to all of you, it's helping me to heal my pain and vice versa. So you are not alone you have power of collective awareness. Trust that, feel that, and bring your own awareness to that location. Your awareness is like a mother's love. The pain is like a child's pain. Pure openness toward that pain. Pure care and warmth and connection toward that pain.
a pure positive vibe like healing electric magnetic feel from your heart toward that pain from your being toward that pain so whichever way you understand Pure, clear openness, pure connection of awareness, pure warmth of caring, loving, healing energy. What we call space, awareness and warmth or energy. not think, not analyze, not suppress, just pure presence, like mother's love toward the pain, pain of the child. Continue as I play one time powerful mantra, salivary mantra, you don't have to sing, just listen and continuously remain presence toward that pain.
continuously maintain your attention, awareness toward that location. Okay, so you can open your eye. So how you are feeling? How is the meditation? How is your pain? So uh, what I would recommend to everybody is for next five weeks, I think particularly those who really like uh, having a kind of uh, issues of the pain, and I would recommend for next five weeks that every day at least one formal and five informal sessions of practice. So formal practice, session of practice means exactly what we just did. You can just replay the, the recorded version of this practice, replay it. You can uh, do sit like for like, it's been like a little bit like about half an hour, uh, less than half an hour. And then the informal practice will be that throughout the day when you're walking, when you're on riding a bus, waiting for something, and particularly when you're kind of getting a little stressed out, feeling a little drained, uh, that is a very, very good time when, you feel, you, when you're feeling a little bit draining, a good time to bring your conscious and awareness and particularly that area of the body. And as like a mother, when mother hears a child is crying with the pain, the mother is bringing immediate attention and a good mother will bring immediately attention and open attention and see what's happening and accommodating that pain, acknowledging that pain, taking care of that pain, being with that pain. So being like a good mother, uh, be, like your awareness is like a being a good mother and, and your, the pain is there to bring to awareness. So when you moment you bring your a sense of awareness there, that three, always remember these three quality, being unconditionally open, being open, being aware and present, connecting. Second, and then gradually from the union of that awareness and openness, there is a warmth, there is a quality arising, like such as love and bring that the light of love in that area, the warmth of love in that area. And just continuously rest there. And you, when you do that, it will clearly, slowly, slowly, it will heal uh, or it will minimize the pain or you will able to manage with pain better or you might even surprisingly, that pain might completely disappear. So be open to any experiences the healing process of this pain. Okay, so so I uh, will not go uh, on now. So I hope this session is uh, clear enough that you can rewatch it, repeat this exercise again and again. And I definitely wanted to hear back your comment and your feedback. Uh, how is the meditation? If there is any clarification you need in certain areas of the meditation, meditation and how your how's how's your pain is going it's is, is it feeling better is it easier to manage you do you feel more space or maybe 
pain is completely gone. That will be great news. So, and, and also sharing your experiences is also like other people feeling encouraged and motivated. And I think we inspire each other. We, that's what we, it's a, we, it's good to do for all of us, right? So, so thank you very much. And uh, I will uh, stop now. And then, then five minutes later, I will be coming back. And then we will be starting the cycle of teaching on five wisdoms. So, uh, so please stay continuously and maybe just rest a little bit. And then in five minutes, uh, we'll be coming back. Okay. Thank you.